you gotta do when the power goes out, right? So looking at the outage, there's two reported outages, out 8.52. End time, unknown. That's what you deal with, power goes out, right? Uh, so that's why we have the backup generator. Usually it's during weather or storms. Uh, in this case, there are none. So it's just this little like patch by us, which is interesting. It looks like there's only seven houses affected by it right now. It's just kind of odd there's another outage down the way that happened that's affecting 845 people. So no, it's weird, but that's what you gotta do. I mean, if you want your air to keep running and everything to keep going as is, uh, you just have a generator. It's loud out there, but as you can hear in here, you hear it, but if you had to sleep at night and whatnot, like if we go in the bedroom, you're sound asleep, you're not gonna hear that. Kids can't hear it in theirs and whatever. So uh, having that backup generator is, is very nice, especially on hot days when you need the air to run. Uh, it does fine for our little house. Fair enough today. We got editing to do. I got a lot of stuff I gotta get done. So thankfully we have that. You wanna go paddle boarding? I do wanna go paddle boarding. She's back, she's home from work. Uh, after a long night, wedding last night. Power's back on, we're good. Generator worked just in time. We're gonna go paddle board a different section. We're gonna go over by the dam. We haven't gone down to this little part yet. It's a different little boat ramp from where we normally go out. This is a, a different section that kind of leads over towards Watts Bar, but we're just gonna go over by the dam and kind of explore a little bit, see what that water's like. A little calmer, not not too many boats over there. We're gonna go check that out. Mace, you wanna go paddle boarding, Mace? She's like, no dad, I don't. I'll stay right here. I almost forgot. Babs. This one, this one's gonna be, I think this one's gonna be for her. Find out what's in this one. Remember that other wee bargain box? Oh, is this the new one? That's the new one, which you get open now. It's a smaller one. Hey, size doesn't matter, okay? Get it, get after it. We don't know what's in this one? Nope. Another no idea. box. No idea what's in this one. Some girls underwear. Little kids. More size 12. Boxers! But they're just a little too big for you. Let's see. A uh, little jacket. Hey, this might fit the babies. A sweater. That actually would be cute for winter. Oh, this would be good for the babies. Size 5. T for Tessa. Oh, Bo could rock the... Look at that. It's a perfect size for him, too. His first Batman shirt? Uh, I don't know any newborns. Uh, nine months. He probably could fit Cooper. Seven eights. Score for the nieces and nephews, that's, that's right. for sure. Capri. Extra large tank tops. Undershirt? These guys. Well, that's a, that's a big kid, kid one, right? Except for these pair of thieves. What are these? You said they're like tank tops, XLs? Lots of stuff for the kids, for the nieces and nephews. All kinds of mystery stuff coming. Never know what we're gonna get. What a pair of jeans. That works perfect. It's great with bathing suit bottoms. It is. It's awfully hot though. All right, let's go paddle boarding. Background is way too hot to walk on. I thought I was just gonna leave these up here and walk, but that ain't gonna happen. So I'm gonna just ditch these somewhere or put them in the bag. I don't know. All right, so this is a different area. The main dam is down this way. We'll get, we'll go that way, kind of show you that one. There's this dam over here. So on the other side, that's Teleco where we normally boat and all that good stuff. So it's really calm out in here. Excited to check this place out. Hopefully, uh, it's a nice little area to, to go paddle around. You just gonna lay out or are we gonna paddle? So oh wow. This has been in the bag just recording for nine minutes. But that was exciting. So over here by the that little first dam we were talking about. So Teleco's on the other side of this Tennessee River up on this part. I've never really seen this open. Like that, I mean that's his most the most that I've seen. I've never seen it like full gates open. But it's kind of cool because you come up to this spot and there's a current going that way. So it's just gonna kind of push us back that way as we once we get going. But it's a cool area, bunch of rocks. It'll be an awesome fishing area, Halcom. See all these little areas for Halcom right here. He's falling in love with it. <laughs>
just came around that little bend. There's a beach. It's like a perfect little beach. That's a good beach over there too. This beach is all over. Oh, this would be a blast for the little ones. The little ones would have a fun time over here because they could run around on the sand. So my buddy Matt told me this whole area over here on this side, like under where they redid the bridge and stuff for the dam, it's all government owned, but it used to be filled with deer. Like big deer with big old racks, like big old bucks in there and stuff. I think they're still in there. Just it's a cool area. Look at this thing. What is that? Fish? Fish bones? Alright, so this area, so this is continues to Watts Bar Lake if we go down this way. If we go up this way, you're going to Fort Loudon Dam across the bridge, that big area. So we're just gonna kinda paddle out, see what see what's here to to discover. See asleep? Hey, fish, wake up. We can have some sushi for dinner. Sushi! Might be a good area just to go hang out back there. Chill on your board back there, probably. We can keep going up a little bit further, just check it out and come back to it. Alligators. Yeah. How's that for a back workout, arm workout? <sighs> I don't think we're gonna get any closer. This current's going fast. Look at the osprey nest up there. Can you see it right there? Huge nest. One just flew up there. It looked like he had a little snake or something. You know, pescatarian or whatever. They eat fish only. Maybe it wasn't a snake. I don't know. Maybe they eat snakes. Look how fast we're moving backwards though. So that area up there where the dam lets out, fishermen go up there and fish right up to it. Like, and you'll see guys, even when the gates are open, getting close to it. And there is big warnings, there's lights, there's sirens, like saying, don't come near here. There's been a lot of people that have died up there with capsized boats and stuff. There's some big fish up there to be caught. And that's why they all love it up there. Don't need to go there on a paddleboard, that's for sure. But I think it's cool. We'll just kind of float back down now and this is where barges hook up. Big old barges come up this river and they hook up right here when they're waiting to get up the lock. That's another fun one. That would be a fun video, the lock. We need to go do the lock. They said you have to be self-contained, I think. I don't think a paddleboard would work. I think it says you have to be self-contained. So you could do a kayak. A jet ski. A, a jet ski. I don't know if a paddle I don't know if they do a paddleboard or not. They learn the watch the jet ski stuff. But it'd be fun to go do the lock because you take the lock up on top of the dam to that lake to the Tennessee River part and all that. So but you have to call. Like on a busy day, you have to call in advance so you can get a slot. I never see that many boats though. I don't know. Taylor and them were going to try doing it one day with my parents and they were like, it's going to be a three hour wait. Holy smokes. What do you do for three hours? I guess just hang out, right? And we can just kind of float. So we're just going to float for, for now. Kind of a cool little spot back here. So that's that road right there. The dams, that big dam and build up is on the other side of it. It'd be kind of nice if you didn't have the road right here, but cool little spot to hang out in. Fun. That was a good little session. I like this area. It's uh, definitely cooler over here. This water's a little bit. A little, little chillier, but it feels freaking amazing. All right, I'm gonna go get the truck. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah.